The first positive case of COVID-19 in the United States was confirmed on January 19th in Washington State. Almost two months later, on March 8th, Iowa announced its first three positive cases. It was just two weeks later that COVID-19 arrived in Woodbury County. We have a case of novel COVID-19 has been confirmed in a resident in Woodbury County. In the six months since that day, the Siouxland District Health Department has tested, tracked and traced the spread of COVID-19 in our community. Once a positive test result is reported to the Health Department, the contact tracing process begins. If you are doing a COVID test, whether it's rapid or otherwise, that that actually gets reported because we have to be able to get those test results so that we can do contact tracing and some of the things that go along with that. If you are a confirmed case, we can only give the best guidance on the information we receive in the contact investigation. It started with a few cases a week, but then new cases were being reported in the triple digits as we approached the county's peak. The peak was the week ending May 3rd, and the number of cases we received notification in that week was 667. Social distancing, closed attractions, and mask usage help reduce community transmission. When we got about to the end of May, then we started seeing it as it's kind of a little come down to 261 cases. And then um, over the course of the next few weeks, it declined gradually. And over the course of the entire summer, it just sort of hovered around that 70 to about 105 cases. And we've just seen a begin uh, kind of a gradual increase over the last few weeks. As schools open back up and more businesses unlock their doors, cases are on the rise again. I think it's been pretty obvious that a lot of young adult, college age type kids, that, that age range has been um, kind of at the center of this uptick. With all this data collected, demographics and location are analyzed. Within Woodbury County, what we show is actually 70% of all those affected were Caucasian. Blacks are 10%, Asian 10%, and then we get down to just very small uh, micro amounts is what it would be for that following, that kind of that remaining 10%. In the 24 Woodbury County zip codes, almost half of all cases fall into two areas. About half of the actual um, cases that we've seen have been in the 51103 and 51104 zip codes. With six months behind us, the health department says we still have a long way to go. We've done a lot of good things. We've had a lot of struggles. We've had, a, you know, we've we've kind of run the gamut here as at, at Siouxland District Health and you know, we've got more ahead of us yet to, yet to learn and yet to accomplish. Health officials aren't just fighting a global pandemic, but also ever-changing information on how to treat and prevent the spread of COVID-19. The team at the Siouxland District Health Department has been working tirelessly to keep the residents of Woodbury County informed while learning right along with the public. We had recommendations about how for people to protect themselves, but we didn't necessarily have all the clear-cut answers. And as those changed then, people got confused. A lot has changed over the last six months, including the way the Siouxland District Health Department responds to COVID-19. We had our pandemic plan that was actually on the books, um, so we did have a base document to be able to use to refer to that. I think that started some of the guidance with it. Um, eight months ago, we were kind of monitoring and at that point in time, we were really waiting to see how would it affect the United States overall, and more succinctly is when would we see the case come up within the state of Iowa. Their team has been working to get the best care to Woodbury County residents. We were one of the first counties to have a drive-through community testing site. Testing was just part of the job. One of the most challenging has been contact tracing. At the very beginning, when we were seeing hundreds of cases every week, we had all we could do to, to get those folks called and get those, you know, to try to get them notified. Staff would work for hours each day making calls to those who were sick, and it took a toll on the staff's mental health. And I think one of their own mental health concerns is the fact that a number of days later they would see that same individual's name in the obituary section of the paper. And now six months in, they continue to learn more about this virus. It is not necessarily the elderly as people perspective. They may, may be more adversely affected, but it is at 21 to 30 age that we're really looking at um, that's created the most of our cases. The health department is also working closely with school districts to prevent outbreaks, evolving their methods the more they learn. We do feel like the schools are best equipped to identify the kids that are in school contacts. They've also changed the way they quarantine close contacts in schools to help prevent a teacher shortage. Just as they have done with the health care, first responders and emergency personnel, as they said, unless you are symptomatic, they will allow you to go to work, but they do ask that you more closely monitor your health status. The health department says they are still learning about COVID-19 every day and are doing their best to keep the public informed. And I think it's important for the public, I guess, to understand that, you know, we were, we were learning as they were. 
and that too. And I think we tried to do the best for the guidance that we could. There are still a lot of unknowns with the novel coronavirus, with medical experts across the globe and here in Siouxland learning more about it each and every day. In Sioux City, with Vivian Rennie, Katie Koppel, Siouxland News.